going on, man? It's your boy Elbow. You know, welcome to the Elbow Lab, man. Hey, you know what I mean? We finna get ready to try to put a track together. Uh, we working with reasons. Uh, you know, if you got reasons, uh, I'll put, you know, reasons 4.0 in the description. So, uh, if you doing the search, you definitely must have reasons. Are you trying to get a, a grip on what it does? Or you, excuse me, you want to see what it work, how it works or what it look like? Uh, Reasons is a production program. It's pretty hot. Uh, I, I'm a hardware guy. I came from, you know, ASR10, uh, Triton, uh, all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? But I just started using Reasons for. I've been using it for about a year, and I'm pretty happy with it, man. I didn't did some pretty thorough tracks with it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm so eager to let other people know about it. I decided that I'm gonna create me a website where I'm showing people how to work with different production programs and, and you know how to record work with Pro Tools and stuff like that. I've been recording for about 15 years, but that's enough about me. Let's get into reasons, man. What I just did was I went over here and I recorded me, uh, not recorded, uh, I just opened up me a brand new window uh, for me to start my track. Uh, the reason to start you out with a mixer, uh, if you ever been in a studio, if you have, if you got a studio or if you have a uh, DJ or anything like that, uh, this is a mixer. Uh, so, if you don't know what a mixer looks like, this is what it looks like. And that's what I like about Reason, because Reason puts you at the studio. It's like they're, they're trying to give you that studio feel, that realistic feel. And it's pretty cool. You can actually, you know, toggle between the front view and the back view of your hardware in the virtual world. If you just go up to Options and you push Toggle, Rack, Front, Rear, uh, you see what I'm saying? You can kind of look here and you can detach stuff and play around with stuff and all that. Uh, reasons is, is hot man uh, I don't know if you cats tried it if you haven't tried it try it you know they have, I think you could download like a demo or something like that uh, get you a MIDI keyboard uh, you know what I'm saying any any MIDI, uh, MIDI keyboard to work uh, so that you could link it up with your computer so you, your uh, keyboard can play the sounds that's coming out of reasons uh, but uh, reasons is pretty cool you know what I'm saying uh, that's trying to get so I'm gonna get started a little bit. I'm just gonna kinda jump around. I'm gonna do a track, but it's not gonna be something where I'm just you know what I'm saying. I don't have anything preloaded, I don't have no sounds preloaded. I'm just gonna kinda show you a little bit about reasons if you don't know about it. Uh if you go up here, reasons you can put you can put all these sounds. See it's like a rack and if you just kinda pan down, uh you you'll see that, you know, the rack is you know, it's just it's just a rack. It's like as if you was at the studio and they had a bunch of sound modules or, or whatever. That's all reasons. That's the way they got it set up. They got it set up to where you have a rack down here is your sequencer. So this is where all your sounds are going to start lining up and you're going to start adding all your sounds. And then, you know, this is set up for about eight bars, but you could loop it at four bars and just have your track loop over and over so that you can compose your track. Uh, but reasons is very easy. You know, you just the, it's, it's it's just as easy as you saying, okay, I'm ready to do a track. Uh, I want to add my first sound. You go up here to create. You go into create an instrument, and um, you know you just hear, hear all your sounds on the left. It has locations. You can get sounds out of your documents uh, off your desktop. Reason has their own sound bank. Of course, it comes with a lot of sounds. That's why I love this program because. When I used to work with the Triton, when I had a Triton and I had a TS-12 and I had an ASR-10 and I had all these keyboards back in the day, I, I didn't have a lot of sounds. I used to have to, I had purchased me a MoFat uh, sound module and I was doing, uh, you know, I just had all these, these sounds that, I didn't have a lot of sounds, but the sounds that I had, you know, after a year or whatever of working with them, they got old. And, and you know what a producer is gonna do with our sounds I mean you gotta have sounds you know the hottest producers is the producers with the most unique sounds everybody out there that do music knows that so uh, I got frustrated you know what I'm saying and I was buying all these keyboards I'm spending two thousand here three thousand there keyboard here keyboard there so I just said you know what if this all we're gonna be able to work with I gotta get the hell out the game now I had heard about Fruity Loops but I really wasn't feeling Fruity Loops you know what I'm saying? I was like, damn that. You know what I mean? It sound too dinky donk. You know, all them samples and all that crap. I don't, don't want to do that. I like, you know, getting in and making my own tracks but from scratch. Because I like to play even though I'm not, you know, a pianist or nothing. But I just like to compose my own music. I don't like using samples. So, uh, here we go. We're back to Reasons. Reasons has uh, uh, their own sounds. 
you know, you're in your documents, you can go in your documents, you can pull sounds that you can download as samples and stuff like that. And when I say samples, I'm talking about sampled sounds because pretty much everything that you ever used ever was a sample from some type of instrument and they just sampled it and they looped it so that you could hold the key down and play it. Uh, so you can download sounds stuff like that but let's just go and see what reason got reason got all these different type of things going on man you can get you got effect patches you got all the instruments you got combination patches you got all this stuff that they already created for you so before you even go to download anything you gonna already have a gang of sounds already available for you so you don't have to worry about getting any sounds right off the top but like I said in a year you start going through all these sounds and you like I need more sounds since you're using the computer since you're using um, reasons you can go and grab sounds as long as they're a wave file you can put them right in the reasons and you can play them reasons has you know the capability of playing all different type of sounds and it's just I mean it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing man if you're a producer you understand how enthusiastic I am about you know what I'm saying being having the ability to have so many sounds at your disposal is beautiful let's just go check some sounds out though I'm gonna go into all instruments you got your basses, bells, brass, drums, you know, guitars. Uh, you know, I mean, you just, as you can see, you know what I'm saying? You got all kind of stuff here. You know what I'm saying? Let's just go, uh, I tell you what, let's go grab, let's go to orchestra. And I'm going to get some strings. I'm going to kid around and mess around. I like strings. Uh, I, I'm into movies, so my beats are heavily influenced by movie soundtracks. I'm gonna play around with that a little bit. Uh, let's let's uh, let's see. All right, now as you can see, I went in there and I got that sound. Now here it is, right here. You remember when we started before? We just had like the little mixer or whatever. You know what I'm saying? We ain't had nothing at the bottom of the rack. Now the rack and got a little bit bigger because we just loaded in these strings. You know what I'm saying? We just loaded those strings in. I would go into detail, you know what I'm saying, about how you really you can pop, but I'm going to save some of this stuff for a future tutorial. I don't just want to overload you. Right now, I'm just trying to show you that, you know what I'm saying, the basics, really, of, of uh, what Reason has to offer. A lot of cats that, that work with software, I know me, personally, I, I, like I said, I, I saw Fruity Loops. I really didn't like Fruity Loops. I, I played with it a little bit, didn't like the samples. And another reason why I really wasn't in the software, it seems that when, like when I put my keyboard, hook my keyboard to the computer, I guess I was just lame or something. I, I didn't, you know what I mean? I didn't know how to work computers and all that crap. I knew a little bit about it. But uh, I would hit a button on my key keyboard and I, I wouldn't, like the sound wouldn't sound off the same time I hit my keyboard. So it was a, it was a delay you know going on and I was like man you know what that's why I don't use this software crap because you know shit like that I can't be messing around and you know what I'm saying trying to hit something and have a delay on it I would never be able to record nothing because I'm concentrating too heavily on that delay so uh, I kind of shied away from it this is by like 2004 I don't want to bore y'all but I'm just trying to give y'all some background on, on cats that like you got a lot of cats out there that, that still you know love hardware Man, I love my Triton. I ain't gonna never use nothing else. You know, software. Is, you know, it's it's too easy to do software, and cats be cheating and doing beats like that. Let me tell you right now, man. Hey, grow your mind up, bro, because it's a whole different ball game. You know what I'm saying? You got it's time to switch it up, man. Y'all see, I got my brew right here. Let me take me a little old sip. All right. So, uh, yeah. And anyway, so this is the sound I loaded. As you can see, you can minimize the sound to where you can small it. You get your rack smalled up, you know what I mean? Make it smaller. You can bring it back out. Now, check this out. This is just the basic form of this sound. You got your knobs, your bells, and your whistles. You got bypasses. You got you can run patches. You got all kinds of stuff. But if you click this button at the bottom here, I'm using a combinator. So this is a, this is a sound that combines all different types of sounds. And I'm going to show you right here. When I click on that, and then we come down right here you got all of this stuff now man if you a producer you gotta be saying to yourself man nah, what the hell is going on you know what I'm saying what is all that but just take just take a real excuse me just take a real close look 